and good evening from Baku. It is the end of a very long day for us here, but it, it's really good to be here and we are next to the ambassador of Denmark to the Eurovision Song Contest. She thinks should have known better, Saluna Samai. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I hope I pronounced your name right. Uh, you say Soluna Samai. Sama, Sol, Soluna Samai. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you here and I uh, hope you're enjoying your time here in Baku. Yes, it's great to be here and uh, obviously the weather is great, which is great when you're from Denmark yeah, <laughs> because it's still very cold and, and Crystal Hall is amazing. We had our second day of rehearsal today and everything went great, mm -hmm. so amazing. I'm prepared. We also just participated in your press conference, which was really amazing and there was so much information coming out of there where we're going to be asking you a few more questions on about. Uh, so I'll start. Tell us a little bit more about your background because you have a very special name. At least it sounds special to me as being from Sweden. <laughs> yeah. Um, Soluna Samai um, is uh, my first and middle name. Uh -huh. uh, Soluna means sun, moon in Spanish. Oh. Um, Sol, luna. And, um, and my parents, they just, yeah, they just invented it, I guess. And Samai, Samaya is a Brazilian flower, if I'm not wrong. And so they kind of cut it short and called me Soluna Samai because even when I was born they were thinking maybe one day she will need a nice stage name. <laughs> That's what they, they said. They knew you were going to Eurovision, you <laughs> yes, see. Yes, they knew. They knew. Oh, it was very clever of your parents yeah. because uh, you are really born up in a kind of music family. Your, your, your father is a musician as well. Yeah. And you have been uh, playing since you were a kid, or? Yes, uh, my father is a street musician, yeah. and um, he uh, has been traveling the whole world since he was 18, living from street music. And uh, I was born, and they kind of, my parents, my mother sold jewelry and made jewelry, and they just took me along. And we used to drive all over Europe in a camper van. And when I was five, I joined on the drums and I played one song it was called Jambalaya by Hank Williams oh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah and so I just kept playing I later picked up the bass and started writing songs and singing and and have been playing with my father every summer for at least 15 years um, mostly Norway and Germany and fantastic yeah. can I ask you one thing about that is it possible to to become rich from play, being a street musician? <laughs> um, I don't think rich, but if you keep your costs low, you can get by very well. Okay. It's, it's very day to day, but I think my parents, they figured out how to do it. Um, they have been living only from street music and from, you know, being creative, selling jewelry. They're, yeah, my whole life. And okay. uh, we always had a Nothing. We never mi and missed anything, so uh, we're very lucky, I think. Now you've been to the national final in Denmark, which was a huge show for, for me, the first time ever I've seen it, and uh, I guess for you as well. It's different than being on the street. Um, how, how how did you uh, receive this vibe in Denmark in the hall, and compared to the stage here when you have been on the rehearsals? Um, I think. Uh, it was it was a very new experience for me, so I had to get used to it um, because it's very intense when you uh, when you, it doesn't look like it when you see it on TV. It looks very easy. You just stand on stage, but when you actually when you participate and there's all these rehearsals, camera rehearsal, lights, all these mm -hmm. things, it's much more complicated than you think. So I had to get used to. It's not only the audience; it's also the cameras. I exactly. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I think it it was great for me. It's just generally great that there's a national final because it's like the rehearsal mm -hmm. for the Eurovision. And now I already feel much more comfortable with it, and I'm more used to the cameras. And here everything is, you know, even more, even bigger and more pro than in Denmark. So it's nice. <laughs> Has the exposure uh, in the national final been helping you with uh, your career? Have you been, been moving around Europe a little bit to show your, your music there? Um, I have uh, mainly stayed in Denmark, but um, I have been getting a lot of attention and um, also I've been recording my next album with the same team mm -hmm. that, that wrote Should Have Known Better. Three amazing musicians, songwriters, producers from Denmark and uh, we're almost done with my second album which is coming out very soon wow. and uh, I'm pretty sure it's being released in several European countries. 
That sounds so, fantastic. Yeah. Can I ask you, will, will your parents uh, come here now to see you perform in, on the stage here in Baku? They're actually not coming because it's very complicated with visa and everything. Um, so they decided to stay at home in Denmark and make a big party. Oh. Uh, but I did bring my boyfriend and my aunt is coming as well. So I will have some, some support from the family. Amazing. Uh, Saluna, we wish you all the best of luck on the stage. If you don't have any more questions, Vivian? No, I wish you all the best and I think you will bring luck with you because uh, we heard that you were discovered via Facebook. Yes. So it means that there is a, it, it might be a sign. Yeah. So we wish you all the best. You bring luck with you, I'm sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. So maybe you should team up with a social network <laughs> from San Marino because uh, they sing about it and you were detected in it. So yes, that's quite uh, so a nice, uh, good uh, nice thing to do. Yeah. So we and just say, hey, yeah, done, Mark. <laughs> hey, yeah, done, Mark. All the best. Viel Glück, because you also Danke. speak fluent Deutsch. Yeah, genau. Vielen Glück.